There's a little hotel straight across the river. I go there and take breaks. I actually sat past the Bible up there on my anniversary. And then up the street up here, I go in a little park over there. Because when I look at the water, it feels all the vision of me. And I'm like, how could Pastor Rich concentrate this beautiful sight? How could you preach? All my message will be about the water. A man must wash his wife with the water of the world. And the Lord separated the water. So we need to take ownership for everything that's happening because we, we can choose our environment. You can choose your association and you can choose your information. Are you hearing me today? Yes. You can't blame anybody for these things. Let's give me one more verse of scripture and I'm done. Genesis 127, just to follow protocol. I think mean, the Holy Ghost already finished doing what you need to do. I'm just going to do a little piece of what I should do. I'm going to follow it. Is that okay, Pastor Rich? Good, man. Thank you so much. I like you. You know, Pastor Rich. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Pastor Rich and the Lady. I haven't spent a lot of time with Sister Elena, but Pastor Richard, every time we get together, we talk, share notes. Let me tell you something. I see this man having a mega church. Listen, let me tell you something. You see, people don't understand how God works. The Bible says, don't judge anything before it's time. But I see him having a very, him and his wife, having a very large, he's not in pursuit of a large church. He's in pursuit of obedience to God. Yes. But he has a personality yes. and he has a, there's something on him. Yes. And he might be able to see. And maybe his wife might be able to see all the details of it because most of them are out there and they see everything. They see more of our faults. <laughs> You can sit over there, Pastor. <laughs> but I see it. I saw you standing here tonight and I saw it. That's the Genesis 1 27 as we close. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female. Say male and female. Yeah. God created male and female. He created he them. And God blessed them. Say, God blessed them. Yes. And God said unto them. You see, God didn't just speak to Adam. God spoke to all of them. Yes. Say, God is still speaking. God is still speaking. Can I borrow that shawl one minute, please, man? I want to show you something. I want to get a volunteer who will come up here. I want to show you. God spoke to both of them. Both the man and the woman. He said unto them. One of the things that you have to do, taking ownership as women, when you get revelation, revelation comes from spending time with God, number one. Where God will, he will unveil. I don't know what revelation is to unveil. There are things that are here that you don't know that is here. You know that? There are things in this room right now you don't know that is here. There are facts. Messages passing through this room going to other facts. They are AM messages, FM messages, shortwave messages. They have cable messages passing through this room. They are phone calls passing through here. Incriminating phone calls. <laughs> going to New York, you can't see them, but they're right in this room. You know what? You know the only way you're going to see it? You've got to get a receiver. My cell phone is in my bag, it's a receiver. I switch it off. When I turn it on, that's when revelation comes. There are messages that were sent through this room into my cell phone. Text messages, email, Facebook messages. All of that went to my phone. You didn't see it, but it was right here. The same way in this room is another kingdom. It's called the kingdom of God. It is as real, just as those messages that went to my phone. Those messages give from one person and it's going to another person. A fax message passed through one to another fax. Everything is going to a receiver. Everything is going to a receiver. Something that it was sent to and there was something pulling it to receive it. Yeah. 
Well, faith is the receiver. When you have faith in your spirit, you are uh, like a receiver. God releases something. The person with faith will get the revelation of what it has released. People ask me, how come all this has happened? I say, because I found out it was in the room. When everybody was looking around for natural things, I was getting the word to find out what is here that nobody could see. And then I found out how to begin to develop uh, 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 my receiving mode so I can connect with what is already here. So, the Bible said that God said to them, one of the things you got to learn as a woman, <laughs> it is stop listening to your senses. Uh -huh. It means no matter where you are, the principles of God works every time. The principles of God work any part of the earth the same way. You understand? All it needs is a receiver and somebody to activate. This woman has, when she was born, meaning she's accustomed with receiving through her senses. When God created us in the garden, the Bible said every day Adam will fellowship with God, not with God in a person. But he will fellowship with God's voice. God will speak to him every day, every day, every day, every day. He begins to know the voice of God so well. As women, you don't need to know your children's voice first, or your husband's voice, your boss's voice. You need to begin to know the voice of God. God do not want to lead her with her emotions or her senses. When she was born, she had to depend on seeing and hearing and touching and feeling. But when she became born again, no longer does those senses work to receive from heaven. Are you hearing me today? Now she has to learn not to move until she hears the voice. So then God will say, Me. She will say, Who you will say? Here I am. God has said, Minnie, I want you to go to the back of the church, sit on the third row from the back. I want to speak to you there. Tell Minnie, follow the voice. Go, do what God said. Try to find your way there with all the voice. Let's try, let's try. The natural inclination of people, for the most part, when they can't see, their hands go out. Is that? You see, as soon as I, whoa, whoa, watch out, girl! She's out of feel over. The reason why a lot of times we walk by feeling is because we don't know the voice. You see, when the voice tells her move, the voice don't want to tell you go and stop. The voice leads you. It's a mini go to the third to last chair to the back. And then God gets with her and said, Now walk, my daughter, walk. You see, when the Bible says, Enoch walk with God, that is how he walked walk in step with God. And God begins to lead her. Even though she's not seeing. When God stops speaking, meaning have to stop walking. Amen. You see, so if you feel like you can just go get married because you feel so. That's how a lot of us get, that's how a lot of us have emotional problems. Because you got into relationships not by the voice. Not by God's voice. It was not a rhema. It was a rumor. Somebody told me it was good. Who spoke it? Yes. 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 
And the reason why a lot of us are where we are today is because we do not know the voice. And the Bible says that God spoke to them. He said unto them, Say them. God speaks to women just as much as he speaks to men. Why is there more women, more men pastoring? Because women don't want to listen to the voice. God started off in the beginning of the book. Yeah. 